Why, hello, people! This is the Dorky Engineer. Welcome back to our Assassin's Creed Revolution video. Or, it's very everyone to type up a new um, album of the Dorky Engineer Assassin's Creed Modification. Oh, sorry. <coughs> That's kind of long. Anyway, we finished. I finished up the um, not throwing night covers for my corset area. I don't know. I I rather call it corset since it's very tight in my stomach. Anyway, our next part is creating the sword holder for my Ezio Brotherhood, and I could use it for my young Ezio, um, our AC2 Ezio cosplay as well. And um, I'm more worried about the sword. What does it look like? Because Ezio has so many swords he chooses. Unlike Altair, in the first one, he has his first sword was the Syrian sword. I kind of study a lot when I played it. Well, I didn't play the first one, but I kind of watched a lot of video. I did find an example when I had my old, my Altair costume, just testing it out. Before I didn't have the Syrian sword and others, I had this sword for Ezio. Pretty much, there was this is a basic long sword that Ezio used, but this is not really Ezio's sword. But I kind of bought this from Spears, who's just the best fit. Damn it, are you serious? Eh, you have to take a look at this mark. I don't know if I feel like painting this over and just like... <laughs> anyway, I'm going to use this sword out in public. I mean, I test out my equipment, my my add-on kits last night. Oh, why? I mean, normally I had to return something to a co-worker. She gave me Thanksgiving food for Thanksgiving. And that was very nice of her. Santa was the last day. Anyway, the point across is I'm going to measure up my the waist. I mean, measure up with my corset area so I'll know how long it is. Same time, I took out my old one. I feel my old year costume cosplay. Here it is. I'm going to make it like the frame like this. This is the sword holder that old year uses. So I pretty much figure Ezio has one as well. I hope this holds. Anyway, um, it's not going to be sticked onto my corset area. It's going to be an add-on kit. So pretty much, it's very, pretty much I'm going to do something very different. So pretty much I'm going to study how, I mean how, I mean how long would this area be? So major guess. Oh wow, this is much slimmer. Okay. Anyway, let's get started. So here it is. You know, be very careful. I'm not planning to go out too later on because I put some support on my on my um on my left side. I know this one looks uneven than the other, but it doesn't look that bad. So how long we're gonna make the waistline? I'm not gonna cut a new fabric, so I'm gonna glue down a newer one, so my best bet is to not make is exactly the same for the corset area. I'm going to make it a bit smaller, maybe right, maybe around right around this area. This would be much easier. So, where is my scissors? What we're doing, what I'm going to do is cut a few pieces off, then transfer it to the other one, and I'm going to glue the piece together to make it one. Then I'm going to use use it, I mean I'm gonna use, I have a few more leathers I could use to do a cover up so one for the back, inside one for the outside and add in the rest but before doing the add on the leathers I need to make some measurements for this, for my sword holder then I could test it out when I go out in public let's just hope the cops doesn't call me I mean, not the cops, some people that, I don't know who called the cops on me, it was like, I don't want to say retarded, but it was stupid. Completely stupid. So this is the part where we're going to cut this piece off.
I don't do I put off me some music so I need some silence for a while let me see I just bought it again did I mm. it's shorter like the yeah, duck this frame so next to this valve curl this will cut up a bit and this is good and I'm not going to throw these pieces away I'm going to use it for my sword holder And you could use your sword holder either your right hip or your left hip. Are you kidding me? I just messed up. This is about right. And then the next part is cutting another frame. I'm near that. Just about the right size. So besides doing this in the middle, we will do this. That's it. Even though if you mess up the first part, it is still usable to use the use the right size. So this is pretty much what it looks like, and it is going to be, I mean, pressed over. So the only thing is, the next part is me is to equal the size matter and glue it down it is much easier because if you put more support on both sides because this one will be for my back ah near enough, gotta cut this off <laughs> Why not the big belt area? Yeah, this is what it looks like. It's not perfect, but the other side is. The other side is good enough. Maybe you could see it. Okay, I'm gonna keep it there. For 
first. I need to readjust this once more. Now we're going to keep it there. After that, I'm going to make some um, measurements. I mean, I'm going to get my Velcro and glue it together much quicker. And this is going to be a longest gluing things together, so I'm going to put this on pause, people. I'll be right back. Just in case, I gotta show this in person to weigh how you have to glue your own straps and do this to make it completely stick. You don't want to glue all the way, whatever. It's going to dry very fast, so do this by pattern. So I'll show you example. I did only did part of it, so this is where it stopped to. Do another set like this. And do the other outline like this. And make the line downward like this. Then crease it, then put it down. That's how you glue down very quick. It'll stick very quickly. Anyway, I'll let you guys go. I'll be right back and show you the results later. Now here's the result everyone, this is how it should look like. And we're going to test it out first. I'm going to put some Velcro quickly so I'll know. I'm not going to put this like my corset area, I'm going to put this on the front. Let's see which one is. Right over left. You don't want to make it too tight, so this is where it should be. So I'm gonna make a line out of this. Where's my pen? Okay, I need to charge your pen. Don't know where's that, but and this is where it is. So, pretty much, we're gonna draw this over the line. But this is the, for the right side, so we're gonna count how many route throws to put in. And we have to know the size. You know what? Let me see. This will this will do. It. 
Oh, sorry. And I'm going to check the other side. Uh, same size. Same side. It would be opposite. One more. Three here, three here. Wow, I'm running low on this. So this one, the furry part, will be for the <laughs> will, will be for the front, and the front side will be on the left side. So we're gonna cut three pieces, three more pieces, and glue it on together. One more pieces. That's it with this. Now we're going to glue three pieces for the right side and for the left, three more. So make sure you don't make mistakes. You do. It is not too late to unglue it because it, it dries very fast, so be very, very careful. I'm sorry, guys, I'm having the parts here. Seriously.
Okay, that's for the right. Now for the left, let me see how large it is. I just about right. So we are gonna carefully And hold that thought, everyone. I need to take a picture. You know, I think about just li just put the leather on the front and leave the um, the inside with fabric, just fabric because it will be easier. Because if I put both fabric, I don't know what's going to happen. Just like I'll do with. The corset. Okay, should be good to go. We're going to test it out, people. This is very heavy, just so just letting you know. Very, very heavy. Did I just? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought I messed up. I'm gonna shoot myself for this. Just about right. Now I'm gonna put this on pause everyone. I'm gonna drop my leather. It's best I draw it out first before doing my sword holder.
because just in case if I put my solar on, I don't have a problem tracing. So I'll be right back. And we're bad people. Uh, just the right, just the right size for it. And I'm gonna pretty much cut through away. So first things first. Let me see where's the dam. It's best you make a good single line. And it doesn't have to be this perfect, so I'm not sure how perfect it would be. And while, while tracing, I'm going to put my knee on it. I know pencil should work, but eh. Now this is the part where it, this is the skinny hole, so we're gonna make a new area. And draw a new line.
if you can see this clearly, or if not, this is where I draw my line, and I'm going to cut the pieces off. I'm thinking about maybe I'll make a line here because I don't want to cut the fabric too far, so it's right about here. Yeah, it feels like I'm touching my balls, am I? Dirty mind people. <laughs> anyway, this is where I'm going to put a marked a line here. I'm going to cut straight forward and I'm going to pause it and show you the rest. Okay, everyone, here it is. This is the leather for the front cover. I'm not going to make the back cover because it's much easier. Cause, because if this starts sliding, if this starts sliding, oh man, that's a problem. So I'm going to leave the fabric in the inside out because it tight. It will hold me. <laughs> anyway, sorry, sorry. Back to the covers. At this time, we are going to. I'm going to have to try to mark down this. So anyway, there's my there's my blade there's my um blade area. So I'm gonna see what's it looks like. So pretty much what I'm gonna do. right here here and here but I'm gonna have to measure my sword right now yes. I'm gonna make sure it's in the right position I mean I could still position the areas no worries This is harder than I thought it would be. Yep, I can tell you now. Gotta yeah, make sure my sides are right. About here. And maybe right here. Let me see. Oh yeah, I'm drawing I'm drawing it out, you guys. So sorry. Yep, right here, this will do. So, to put my sword below, right in the middle. Yep, that was the right area. And I need my ulti here, here, to know this. Oh crap, I have blue on this sash too. So. You got to know how long it is.
So, so to compare it, because this is thin, this this one's much thin, thin, uh, like shorter than this side. So you have to make sure you, it's much longer. Yep, just about right. Yeah, I could just make this a bit longer. Like here and here. Because we're going to cut a few pieces off, people. Okay, I'm so sorry, people. I had to sing that song. And this bit is put put it on the on this area. It's much easier. And let's see with this. That and just in case, it's gonna be front and back. So I'm gonna put this. I mean, I'm gonna glue the leather on the front. I don't draw a pen just in case. Here to here. That's the first part. That's two parts for this. Do the same opposite. You kind of want to make sure. Oh, this is not that long, so just for. Left side. Yeah, that's going to be. This is going to be used. It's going to be used for the other stuff. So. Oh, hello. Oh la la, very smart for me. One line. Yeah, I've made the front and back already. Okay. Say these.
So we're going to make three parts. So what I'm going to do is glue these down right now. <laughs> I'm so smart. Let's see. La -la 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 -la. Now do not worry about making this perfect. It's going to be covered, so never worry. I'm going to make this a bit slender. Jesus, hi Liam. So this is the longest, so I'm going to draw out every piece out. But first, straighten things out. This is a can. So... So there are three pieces here. I need damn high nance here. Where do I put my scissors at? Here's the second piece. What the hell happened here?
Oh wow. <laughs> In Anyway, oh, there it is. So that's part. Is I'm gonna measure the sword holder. I don't want to make it too loose or too tight, so just about right. So my sword holder would have been. Yep. Just the right size for this. Just in case we're gonna Okay, this is for this piece. And for the pieces, I'm going to put this on pause so you don't have to deal with me doing the tracing all the time. So, I'll be back. And we're back, you guys. This is what it's our position. So, no need to... No need for this anymore. So, I'm going to set him aside. And I'm just going to glue down my my sword cover right now. Where did I put the other one? Okay, that's good. So what I'm going to do is grab this piece. as much tighter as I can. Oh, well. Avoid this. So this is going to be part of the piece of the sword cover. So, here it is. And I'm going to put this aside. Look at this. You know what? I don't know what happened to my pieces, so... Hmm. I think this is the two pieces here. Now this is my two pieces here. What in the name of Jumpin' Jahula is going on in here?
Oh, okay. These are my two pieces. These are my main piece. That is confusing. So, this one goes with this. Anyway, start gluing. So, ooh. all you do is try positioning them as best as you can. And the next part. is gluing them down. So what we're going to do is glue part of it. part of it you do part of it Darn it, I should do left over right. I mean right over left. Oh well, what's the point? I could just do it with the leather. So this is how it looks like on this first part. You might have to pause the video you know, soonish. Let me see what's going on. It's hard to position everything. Okay, this is the best position. I'm sorry people. I am so sorry. And this is this is the best position here. Okay. Now I can feel the glue here. This is good for this. So let's see, uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Green alligators along big piece. Cats and rats and elephants.
And besides wrapping this around, I'm just gonna wrap one set around this, or no, I'm just gonna do the whole, do the same thing with this then, so be it. You, give me a moment, you guys. Man. Green alligators with long big teeth. Cats and rats and elephants. Do do do. With the unicorn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This song is stuck in my head. And this concludes the video for part one for the sword holder. I'll see you for part two.